What does this reveal? It reveals the total absence of a moral compass. And he writes, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., hereby proclaim June as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and intersex pride month. I call upon the people of the United States to celebrate and to wave their flags of pride high. So the President of the United States is telling you to celebrate what God says is a sin and to put you at war with God and to do so in the name of pride, which is yet another sin. He proclaimed America is a nation of pride. The Bible says pride leads to destruction. What have we done? We're devoting an entire month to celebrate an alternate form of sexuality. We don't even give more than a day to celebrate America's birth. We're mutilating children and celebrating it. Have we gone mad? What would possess us to do this? This goes to the mystery behind Pride Month. When a nation turns away from God and drives his spirit out of its culture, its house will not stay empty. Other spirits will come in and will possess it and transform it. When I wrote The Return of the Gods, I identified those spirits, ancient spirits that are now at work possessing and transforming America. One is called the Enchantress. In her ancient Mesopotamian inscriptions, it is written that she turns men into women and women into men. Her priesthood were called the Asinu. They were men who walked around her temples dressed up as women and to whom parents brought their children to see them perform dance. This goddess who altered sexuality and gender was linked to the sign of the rainbow. There's a dark secret to the rainbow that I reveal in the book that would cause anybody to have second thoughts about waving it or hanging it on the White House. Now the rainbow does not belong to man or to any movement or to any sin. The rainbow belongs to God. But the goddess was actually known in her writings for stealing that which belonged to other gods. So for the White House or anyone to use the rainbow of God against the will and ways and purposes of God is a most dangerous thing. And do you want to know the mystery of Pride Month? There was one month of the year that the spirit of the goddess especially possessed the culture, the ancient month of Tammuz. In The Return of the Gods, I quote the ancient writer St. Jerome, identifying the month of these celebrations as the month of, in Latin, Iunium, or in modern English, it was the month of June. And she was known as the goddess of pride, so the month of pride, Pride Month. And she was the goddess of parades, in which she caused men dressed as women and women as men to parade through the city streets. You see, when you turn away from God, this is what happens. Jesus warned of it. Your house will become repossessed by the spirits that were cast out. And so it has. It's either God or this. For those of you who are into these lifestyles, you are loved by God. And he's calling you back. And because of his love, he speaks and we speak, must speak the truth and stand against the darkness that would destroy you. And for those of you who are parents, your children are a gift from God. God entrusted them to you, not to the school system, not to Disney, not to children's programming or YouTube or TikTok, not to the state and not to the president. Guard them against the agenda that is seeking to possess and destroy them. And as for the rest, the president has called you to wave the flag that wars against God, to become an enemy of God. Do not listen to him. Lower that flag, put it away, have nothing to do with it or with pride. The rainbow is the sign that God gave of his mercy. Turn to God and come to his mercy. And if you're going to lift something up, lift up the only name that has the power to save you and change your life. The name of Jesus, Yeshua. And he will have mercy and he will not reject you. His arms are open to you right now. And do not fear, but do what's right. Stand up, speak up, do not be silent, do not be intimidated. Resist the darkness. On the day of judgment, you will not stand before the majority. You will stand before God. All these things will pass away, but God is forever. When the president is gone from the White House, God will still be on the throne. This is your moment to become great. Be strong in the power of his might and stand against the night and you will prevail. To not miss the next messages, press subscribe. And until next time, this is Jonathan Kahn. Shalom.